A very good day everybody, this is your cruise director Sean, and welcome back to Trivia. I hope you're having a fantastic uh, day today, and I hope you're out there staying safe and healthy. But today we're going to be doing some trivia questions around inventions. So, here we go, you can grab your pen and paper, or you can play along with us here on Facebook as well. So. Here we go with question number one. Question number one, what popular toy was originally created to aid in World War II? Again, this is what popular toy was originally created to aid in World War II? All right, question number one. What popular toy was originally created to aid in World War II? The answer is Silly Putty. Yes, Silly Putty. Faced with a rubber shortage during World War II, the US government asked scientists to come up with a rubber alternative. In a GE lab, engineer James Wright attempted to create an alternative by mixing boric acid with silicone oil. He was so pleased with the end result that he threw some of the substance on the floor and discovered that it bounced. So, it is silly putty, so he purchased a large amount of the rubber, packaged it into plastic eggs, and sold it to children under the name Silly Putty. And today, Silly Putty brand products are offered in over 15 different colors in the classic egg-shaped packaging. So there you go. I used to love them, Silly Putty. Question number two. What did Marion Donovan use to create the prototype for the disposable diaper? Again, this is question number two. What did Marion Donovan use to create the prototype for the disposable diaper. So what item? All right, question number two. What did Marion Donovan use to create the prototype for the disposable diaper? The answer is the shower curtain. Uh, Marion Donovan, a young mother during the baby boom era, was unhappy with messy cloth diapers that needed to be laundered, so she used a shower curtain to create the boater, a plastic covering for cloth diapers. A year later, she added a disposable absorbent material to the boater design to create the first disposable diaper. So, shower curtain was the answer. Question number three. What did the first coin-operated vending machines dispense? Again, number three, what did the first coin-operated vending machines dispense? Question number three, what did the first coin-operated vending machines dispense? Postcards. Yes, believe it or not, postcards. Introduced in London in the early 1880s, the earliest vending machines dispensed postcards. Richard Carlyle, an English publisher and bookshop owner, invented a vending machine around the same time that sold books. That was that one threw me for a loop there, to be honest. Question number four. Lexico was a game that was invented in 1932. What was its name changed to? Again, number four, Lexico was a game that was invented in 1932. What was its name changed to? Question number four, Lexico was a game that was invented in 1932. What was its name changed to? Scrabble, of course. Scrabble is the correct answer. Question number five. GPS was developed in 1978 and was made to pinpoint your exact position to within a couple of meters with the help of satellites. What does GPS stand for? You're going to know this one. I know. Again, GPS was developed in 1978 and was made to pinpoint your exact position to within a couple of meters with the help of satellites. What does GPS stand for? Question number six. 
Question number five. GPS was developed in 1978 and was made to pinpoint your exact position to within a couple of meters with the help of satellites. What does GPS stand for? Global Positioning System. Again, Global Positioning System is the correct answer. Question number six. In what decade were barcodes in supermarkets first used? Again, number six. In what decade were barcodes in supermarkets first used? Question number six. In what decade were barcodes in supermarkets first used? The 1970s. The 1970s. Uh, barcodes were not a big success until they were used in supermarket checkout systems. And the first product that used a barcode was a pack of Wrigley's Juicy Fruit Gum sold on June 26th, 1974. Now, I used to love some Juicy Fruit Gum, but the flavor lasts for about three minutes, so maybe they can work on that. All right, question number seven. Um, the ATM. They were invented by John Shepard Barron, and the first ATM was introduced in what decade? Again, the ATM. They were invented by John Shepard Barron, and the first ATM was introduced in what decade? Question number seven, ATMs. They were invented by John Shepard Barron, and the first ATM was introduced in what decade? The 1960s. It was uh, 1967 at Barclays Bank in the UK. Again, that is the 1960s. Question number eight. Psychologist and inventor William Marston created the famous comic book heroine Wonder Woman. What machine did he also invent? Again, number eight, psychologist and inventor William Marston created the famous comic book heroine, Wonder Woman. What machine did he also invent? Question number eight, psychologist and inventor William Marston created the famous comic book heroine, Wonder Woman. What machine did he invent? The polygraph machine or lie detector test. Yes, the polygraph or lie detector test. Question number nine, true or false? Post-it notes or sticky notes were a deliberate invention. Again, this is number nine, true or false? Post-it notes or sticky notes were a deliberate invention. Question number nine, true or false, post-it notes or sticky notes were a deliberate invention. The answer is false. Uh, no one set out to invent sticky notes. Instead, in 1968, Dr. Spencer Silver, a chemist at 3M Company, invented a unique low-tech adhesive that would stick to things but also could repositioned, be repositioned multiple times. So that correct answer was false. And question number 10. At the 1893 Chicago World's Fair, what kitchen invention took the top prize? Again, number 10. At the 1893 Chicago World's Fair, what kitchen invention took the top prize? Question number 10. At the 1893 Chicago World's Fair, what kitchen invention took the top prize? The dishwasher. Yes, the dishwasher is the correct answer. So go ahead up and add up the total points correct. I'm sure you did very well. And give yourself a big round of applause. Thank you for joining us. Thank you for joining me and playing along. 
and uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day, and I hope to see you again very, very soon on another fantastic Oceana cruise. So until we meet again, stay safe and stay healthy, and we'll see you next week.